Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm gonna show you what is and how to make an infographic. Well, this is a tool of graphic design. It got the following characteristics. The name is an acronym that means graphic information. It is a graphic conceptualization tool. It allows to show a lot of information in a short space. It's also clear, concise and easy to understand. The tool can be used in any of the six stages of a project developed with the design thinking methodology or any agile methodology. To be able to develop this tool correctly, you must have a very clear what is a graphic line, what is the design concept such as layout, hierarchy, proportion, and ability to synthesize information. The success of the infographic is measured with the understanding that the receiver of the graphic development has. The components of the infographic are format, theme, graphic line, and diagramming. Okay, so the first thing that you do when you're going to develop a infographic is to know what kind of format are you going to use. Is it going to be digital? Is it going to be printed? However, you need to know that if you're going to develop the infographic uh, for a digital format, it's very important to know that if you do it vertical and you put full screen, you are losing most of half of the screen. If you're doing horizontal, you are taking advantage of all the tools that you got. So I recommend if you're making a development in a digital format, make it horizontal. However, if it's printed, it doesn't matter uh, what format do you use, but it really depends in how are you going to show it. So that is very important. So always remember to see and make a sketch. It's very important because that allowed you to organize all the information and all the different kind of formats that you're going to use. So that is very important. After that, it's very important also that you know the theme of the infographic, the concept and how are you going to develop. It's very important to have a clear idea of what are you going to develop, but also which is the target group that you're focusing in. That is very important because if you have that information clear, you know the graphic line that you're going to use, you will know all the different uh, design concepts that you're going to put together in this infographic. Uh, as you hear me, I've been talking a lot about graphic line. We have a special tutorial just for that, so if you don't know how to develop a graphic line, please check it out. But I want to remember the most important elements in a graphic line, which are color, typography, illustration, photography, and pictograms. Uh, we, especially in the graphic part, we don't always use the three elements that we see here. It really it's up of what you want to represent. It's really also depending on the branding that you are using, but you always have to have a palette of colors. I usually recommend three, but it really is up of the concept that you want to show. So that thing could be less, could be more. The typography also try to you don't use more than two typographies in a development. Uh, and you can use here the three resources or just one. It really up of what you want to represent and show. It's very important that you keep the style of the information and the graphic line. It's really important to show also the identity that the development is having. And as I told you before, always remember, in the graphic part, you can use one or the three resources. It's really up of what you want to show and represent. But if you want to know how to develop your graphic line, please check out the tutorial that we have here in our channel. Okay, so when you are diagramming is when you put everything together. Really important things. 
always have a title that, got, that is bigger than the subtitle. If you're going to use text, always keep in mind proportion. I like to use three quarters of image per one quarter of just text. So always the image is more important. Always remember to keep your graphic line in the whole development. If you can have a focal point, that will be really good because the concentration of the person will be focused on that. For diagramming, it's really important to integrate, no segments. So everything looks like just one development. If you have everything aside, it looks like a island diagramation. That's how I call it. Because you cannot see the relation between everything. <coughs> Hierarchy is a concept of design really important. It means that if it's more important, it will be bigger. If it's less important, it will be smaller. But it's really up of the relevance that you, as a designer or as a developer, want to focus on. It's really important to have data and statistics in a graphic way because that will make the person look to that. It means that it's really important as well. The key on the development on an infography is synthesized because here we're putting a lot of information in just one development that is summarizing everything so that will be really important I like to encapsulate some of the information because that make easy to uh, put everything together so that will be also a big help as a conclusion, we can say that when you finish developing the infographic, you must be able to visualize and explain any idea or concept in a simple graphic way. It is essential to know how to select the graphic line elements and know the balance between the design concept and the proportion and hierarchy. The better visual culture you have, it will be better reflect the concept and it will be more understandable for the receptor. Uh, for an infographic, I always like to first make an analog sketch and after that put it in a vector program. It could be Illustrator, it be, could be Corel Draw, it's really up to you. But before you go to the computer, I strongly recommend to make it analog first. Use a pencil to know what is what you want to show. And after that, yeah, go to the computer. Many people, is they are always go straight to the computer and when you do that, it will take you more time to put everything together. So that is my biggest advice for this part. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one channel in design thinking and agile methodologies in the whole YouTube universe. Uh, remember, on Monday, we always have a new video in Spanish. On Thursday, we always have a new video in English. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.